Do you know the feeling when you are ready to start sleeping? You lay on your bed in the dark room and everything is comfortable. The pillows are soft and cold. The temperature is good in the room and everything is perfect. Then you close your eyes and start to think good things so the dreams would be good. But something comes to your mind. You feel your leg outside from your blanket and you feel unsure. Like someone would grab it at any point. You move your leg under the safety blanket and try to sleep again. But the feeling won't go away. You get flashes in your head of a woman who is deformed. You can feel her presence in the room. You know she won't leave the room and you open your eyes to make sure the room is empty. And it is empty, but your body is ready to run. You feel your heart still pounding from the danger and cold sweat is running down your chest and your mind is nervous to keep sleeping. For me, these things happen sometimes and I know that I'd see nightmares next. I personally just grab my phone and try to look at something cute and relaxing. Sometimes I would read to get my mind out of the bad image. It works most of the time really well and I get good dreams after that. But it doesn't work all the time. Nightmares come and go and they can be annoying. There are so many ways to encounter nightmares, but what if you are already in a good dream that turns into a nightmare? In this video I will explain my own methods that I have to end nightmares, but first we have to get ourselves to the dream realm. Welcome to my dream realm, everybody. As you can see, we have a lot of things in here. Everything I can dream of is here. But the place I want to take you all is my kindergarten, which is actually in the middle of the realm. Our first stop is there, and there you can see baby Oni, who was five to six years old. When I was a kid, I used to have a lot of nightmares. The nightmares were about shows, and for some reason, every December, I had a nightmare of a giant Santa Claus that ripped the wall of my room and would eat me. I think I had this nightmare like five times. But we are at the kindergarten right now, and I thought it was a normal day at the time, but surprisingly, we had a guest that day. We all walked to the playroom where there was a long wooden chairs where we could sit and a strange object in front of us. A new person came to the room with the staff after everyone sat down and they probably told us who they were, but let's be real, I have no memory of that situation. But what I have a memory of is the object in front of us, or actually the instrument. This huge instrument was cannel. Kannel is traditional string instrument and Finland's national instrument. It is well known and at that time it was new to me. The person sat behind the kannel and started to play and I must say I didn't hear anything else than the music at that point. It was really beautiful and something in it touched my child mind and then it was over. And I probably went to play with Dinosaurs? I don't know. Days went by and I forgot the kennel even exists. But then came the night when I got a nightmare. The nightmare happened in my childhood park, which is close to the kindergarten. The dream was good at first, but then the girls from Total Spice came and started to terrorize the whole area. They destroyed everything that moved, everything was dark, and blood was everywhere. I was really scared and I was crying under a pine tree. Until I heard a song. As bright as day and beautiful and pure. I ran to my kindergarten, that where the music was coming from, and into the playroom where there was a kennel on the ground. I sat down and picked up the kennel and I played. I felt how all the bad was dying around me, scary monsters turning something sweet and nice, and after that dream, Canal became the object. 
that I try to find in my nightmares, but I don't always find it. And I have more methods to counter nightmares for now, but it was the first thing that gave me the safety in my dreams. And sometimes when I have nightmares, I still try to find the canal in my dream. But as I said, canal is not the only method that I have right now. For a long time it was the only safety, but when I became older I somehow unlocked new abilities in my nightmares. This nightmare was also really dark and everyone was dying around me. Cities were destroyed by these shadowy dog creature monsters, I don't know. But the only way to escape them was to keep running. And we all know in nightmares running is not the best thing you can do. If you don't want to be the slowest creature in the world. So I tried to run away from these evil dogs, but I got really frustrated because I didn't move. So the only option I had was to tell myself in my dream, I don't want to be here anymore. Wake up. And I woke up. After that night, I got the ability to tell myself to wake up in a dream if I didn't enjoy it anymore. And it works. Not 100% though, but it works. I remember having a random nightmare and I thought myself to, hey, let's wake up. It's not nice anymore in here. And I did wake up. I remember standing on my bed and starting to walk somewhere, I don't know where. But then the reality started to shift back to the nightmare. So I pinched myself and it didn't hurt. Surprise, surprise. And the situation started to be really uncomfortable in the dream. So I told myself once again, this is still a dream. Time to really wake up now. And this time I really did wake up. And I just thought, oh, that was a funny thing. I thought I woke up, but I didn't. It wasn't so funny in the dream, but when I was awake, it was a funny thing. So now I have two abilities to counter nightmares. A canal and waking myself up, but I still have one and a half methods to go. So my power to tell myself that I want to wake up in the dream evolved. So sometimes I just tell myself that I want to switch my dream now. The dream can be too scary, and I get really frustrated, so I just tell myself, hey, time to relax and have nice dreams. And my dreams just switches from a nightmare to a good dream. What gives this ability a bonus thing is that if I see same nightmare again that I already have seen and I remember what will happen, I can just tell myself, yeah, we're gonna skip this nightmare <laughs> and we're gonna have a better dream after this. And it happens. I know that to make all these things to work in the nightmare, I have to be in lucid dream most of the time. And for those people who don't know what lucid dream is, a lucid dream is type of a dream where you as a dreamer became aware that you are dreaming. There are good and bad things with lucid dream, but I found it to be most positive for myself. I don't have lucid dreams often, but when I do, I try to take all the joy out of it if it's not a nightmare though. Thank you for watching this video. I've had this idea in my head for a while now and it was also nice to get it out finally. Do you have any tactics to counter nightmares or are you even scared of them? What about lucid dreams? Do you have them too? Tell me those things in the comments. I'd like to read them. Remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Those both really helps me a lot. Also share this video and like. And I hope to see you in the next video that I make. Good dreaming.